Hello, you beautiful cats and dolls of YouTube land. I'm the Anti Hero Drink, and as always, I thank you gamers for tuning in to my channel where I love to talk to you about RPG video games. You dungeon crawling RPG junkies out there in YouTube land, stay beautiful cats and dolls, and enjoy the video. So, I've been naturally playing a lot of the division, it's been eating up quite a hefty amount of time, do and other things, but What's been cool about this game is jumping into parties gamers and talking to other gamers about upcoming RPGs that they're hoping to play. And also, what gamers feel about this hybrid genre that we're basically in the midst of watching coming to its own. The RPG FPS genre or the FPS RPG genre, whichever one you want to go choose to go upon. And it's been really fun hearing people say that they like it, that it's kind of okay. It's a cool thing to go keep them in between with other games that have more of the elements they like mostly RPG elements actually come out. So I kind of want to go talk about my feelings and my thoughts on this. If you have anything you'd love to say, that's why God created the comment section, gamers. Feel free to drop me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So things I love about this genre is the fact that it does incorporate RPG elements well at times. And at times it does it terribly. In instance, I hate when RPG elements are streamlined. When we are just grinding for the sake of grinding, it's not fun. It's just grinding to go get to some in-game thing so we can actually do it. And I, I know there are a lot of people out there who would say that that's a lot of RPG video games. And I tell you, you're also freaking wrong. There are a lot of RPG video games out there that do have a long ride to the end game, but they buffer that with fun content until you get to that level. And then, when you want to go get the in-game content, there's a bunch of re-rollable content, other tasks, and other things to actually do. So you're still doing story to a sense. You're still having, I, I guess you can go say goals and actual, actual milestones along the progress of your game. So it isn't just monotonous, I am grinding for the sake of grinding. <sighs> it's something you have to go play and actually see, to go see, but... What I'm trying to go say is I really hate when it's just a long grind for the sake of just it being a long grind. And I kind of want to go on that one too much. But things I do like that at least the Division got right is the fact that this game finally implemented something that I said Destiny should have had in the long run. Which was weapon crafting or some type of idea to make your weapons unique. So when you get a weapon in the Division, it's completely different than the other players. And that was one of the things that drove me crazy about Destiny because there was no individuality. So in the Division, if you get an MP5, I get an MP5. My attachments, my character, the way I've geared out my character will greatly affect how my weapon performs over your weapon performance. Mine's could be better, yours could be get better. But that's great. That's Then those are our tricks. That's that back and forth you have in these RPG video games where, you know what, your secret weapon, your tricks just got over my tricks by using one thing or another thing that I didn't choose to look, use or I chose to overlook. That's really great. I really want that to be something to go forward with these styles of games because the next thing I want to go talk about is I really feel that this genre needs a dedicated build. Uh, I get not build service, but just dedicated builds. I want the devs to come into these games with dedicated builds and game plan elements that revolve around dedicated builds. And what I mean by that is, I'm tired of playing games like The Division and Destiny, where it's hide behind cover, shoot an enemy, shoot an enemy, regain your regain some health, shoot an enemy, shoot an enemy, up oh, lost some health, hide behind cover again. I really wish that there were dedicated builds where I could go be. For the sake of, just for the division sake, when it talks about a tank, I'm an actual tank. I would really wish that there was something like juggernaut armor in the game. And that you had to go get this armor. And then you had to go roll it, in, that you could go roll it in certain ways. Where you could go get reduced damage. So you can just go take a bunch of, and take a bunch of damage, but you're really slow. Or you go get, get half a percent of the damage, incoming damage is actually done as heals. So you're more like a self-sustained juggernaut. And then you have all your aggro abilities and whatnot where you can just take a bunch of enemies and make them focus on you. But you don't have high DPS power, but you have high, you have high health and you have high damage reduction. That's unique. That's something that I want to go see happen in the division and games going forward. So you have in-game content or just content in general that follows that formula where you have a unique 
roll and you can constantly play it. I really want to go see more weapon diversity. I really want to go see... Basically, I'm waiting to go see when they finally take Battlefield and mix it with an RPG video game. Because that has a comprehensive... It has a lot of weapons, a lot of diversity, which you can go do with your weapons once you unlock them. Plus, a shit ton of attachments to go change just how all the weapons feel and play. But also, it has dedicated builds and jobs that you can actually do. Such as giving ammo, setting up spawning beacons, so forth and so on. You're the only person that can go carry in a rocket. You're the only person that can carry in anti-aircraft material. Stuff like that. You makes the counter so much more engaging because it's what you have and what the enemy has and how much of it and how you use it. So I'm really hoping to go see that come into this style of video game genre. I'm also hoping to go see more of the RPG elements not being so streamlined. I want to go see actual, you know, I'm an old school RPG player. So I want to go see puzzles and ideas of, you know, mental challenges that actually come into the game. Or you're actually using your old noodle up here to go figure out certain things. Destiny kind of had it, credit where credit's due, with the Vota Glass Ray, where you're doing the jumping puzzles and you're going through the Gorgon's Lair and all that. Like, you had to go feel your way around the level. You had to go interact with certain things. And then, in return, kind of, and Crota's end, I remember you had to go mess around with the orbs and stuff like that. I'm kind of hoping that they take elements like that, like an in-game raid, but basically mix it up with shooting enemies and also using your mind and doing various different things, like just mixing up the monotony of just shooting enemies and getting to your path. Those are some of the things that I just kind of hope that I see in the future of this genre of video games. Let me know in the comment section below, gamers, what you think, what you would like to go here. And as always, I'm not trying... Not trying to horn myself out, but if you could, I love you for life. Love you for life. If you go leave a, a like on this video and also share it with your friends, as always, I'm the Anti Hero Dream, talking about RPG video games and gaming stuff in general. Peace and later, gamers, and stay beautiful, you hip cop cats and dolls of YouTube land.